going to be here tomorrow. And of course, we'll invite you to our booth after. We have our happy hour at 5 today. You can uh, also try what we're going to present. We have, a, uh, we have part of it in our booth. Um, so Harry will be there tomorrow and we can meet him. So without further delay, Bernice Hill, President, Founder and CEO of Climate Tech. Thank you, everyone. So, uh, welcome and thank you for coming. Uh, I wish we were doing this in a terrific booth. Obviously, I invite you uh, to the booth after. And uh, uh, we built in four days a complete track with a, with a vehicle, and you guys can come and try it. So, I think it's a very, it's our biggest booth ever. I think we have uh, one of uh, the biggest booths at the show, and we actually won the Brass Ring Award yesterday. So, congratulations to Kogali and all the team for second best boot uh, at the show so next year hopefully we'll win the first the first one so today i'm very uh, excited to introduce a new product and we call it a product we've been doing a lot of dark rides uh, over the past few years but you know i've been thinking how can i bring the experience of a dark ride to you know smaller venues and smaller amusement parks and we've learned a lot working on all on all these projects uh, and we've learned a lot, and as I said, uh, we uh, tried with this product, which we're launching today, uh, to take, take all the best advantages and all the excitement of a larger dark ride and bring it to a smaller venue. So I want to introduce you first to uh, Clifton Hill. So uh, Clifton Hill uh, is located, as you can see here, in uh, Majestic Niagara Falls, Canada, in the US. Um, let's look at a video of the location. a few traffic attractions that we've installed in the past. Go cars. If you ever in Niagara Falls, you have to go visit. It's really one of the best attractions and locations in Canada. So we attack the traffic attraction. So for next summer, uh, after we develop all these uh, attractions with our partners there, we're announcing uh, the new attraction by Triadec, which is called Carnival Chaos Hyper Ride. So the first of hopefully a long uh, a line of uh, Hyper Ride attractions, which features the Triadec car and the Triadec interactivity and uh, everything that you've learned about Triadec. So let's look at a few concepts. So that's the entrance, obviously. It's a location based, so it's basically in the street. So the guests uh, have to go inside the building. They're attracted by the vehicle, which comes out, as you can see. And mind you, Canada has uh, some warmer and colder weather. So uh, it was designed so we can operate for the longest part of the season possible. Obviously, at minus 20 Celsius in December, the attraction is not going to operate. So, uh, to the next one. Yeah, that's the inside. So as you can see, the vehicle of the dark ride is loading here, and you can go inside, basically it goes inside. Uh, and it's a front-face vehicle, so it's one row, four players at the same time. It is designed for easy access, basically, to load the vehicle. So, yeah. Let's look at the other next one. So, this is the Hyper Ride product which we're launching at the show. And again, please come and see it in our booth. But I want to show you a short video uh, showing you the, the, the product.
is the, so what is the high crime? Again, Tritech, I think uh, you know we're a company that grew a lot in the past few years. And I think the secret of our success is the fact that we've developed a technology which runs at our customers for 10, 15, 20 years, and we've developed a library of content, whether immersive or interactive, and we kept our promises of developing at least one new content per year. So with that approach, we've sold more than 4,000 simulators, like the Typhoon simulators, We've done more than 400 interactive theaters with a dozen, a dozen titles for these theaters. And now we want to bring everything that we've learned with dark rides, major dark rides like Lego Land, Ghostbusters, or Knott's Berry Tale, and bring it to the family entertainment center, location-based tourist location, uh, with a library of content. So we already have the two first locations under construction and two different titles. And we are planning on bringing at least one new title per year, and you know, hopefully very quickly in the next few years to have a hundred location, which I think is very realistic. What what it does is once you have 50, 60, 70 locations, it brings down the cost of developing a title. So typically, a good interactive title for a dark ride will cost you a million dollar, two million dollar. So if you have an amusement park, a major amusement park, let's say we did the Ghostbuster attraction, of course you have the budget to do a custom title. But if you own an FEC or you have a smaller location, you know, maybe you're paying $100,000 per year for a license, typically for a 4D movie, but you cannot afford to do custom content. So with this model, and we've, you know, we've developed the two first contents, which are included when you buy an attraction. So basically we sell you a turnkey attraction. Everything included, vehicle, the motion, the teaming, and the first title when you buy the attraction and install it. And obviously our business model is that we will develop further titles, seasonal, you know, maybe for Christmas, for Halloween, uh, for Easter, and possibly eventually IP. And you will operate the same theater and you will change the content. It's all media based, it's all on computers, it's projections, but we also added a few new things, like for instance, the LED arches. So, uh, you know, the high definition screen, the sound injection is in the vehicle, so everybody has um, an individual sound. And I think the secret of this attraction is the vehicle rotates very quickly. When you come to our booth and you try it, you know, I am. Usually I have motion sickness in, uh, in coasters, so that's one reason I build dark rides, to be very honest. And with this attraction, I almost felt, I almost had motion sickness, I'm telling you. So the rotation, uh, the movement is the fastest that I've ever tried in a dark ride, and basically I've tried all the dark rides. But on top of that, we've installed two motion platforms on the base, so the, the base turns around and we move people in the motion seat, like in a Tritec theater, so we have a combination of rotation and, and movement. This, unless there's someone here at IAMA, which I haven't seen today, has never been done uh, in, in our industry, and it's a very innovative way of moving, for instance, two or three hundred pounds, instead of moving two ton or three tons vehicle. So what it does is that the motion, the motion that you perceive is much stronger and is much faster and is much, has a much better synchronization with the content on the screen. So it transforms the dark red vehicle that comes in and it becomes a simulator in front of the screen. And we have a lot of experience with simulators. So the combination of those two things, we think creates a very unique uh, attraction, which is customizable, and obviously it's fully interactive, and uh, you compete against each other in the ride. So we have the technology, which has the trill. Uh, we have the library of content. Again, we're starting with two, but we're planning on having, you know, up to ten contents in the next few years. Uh, it's fully interactive, so you sit with your friends and your family. You compete. At the end of the ride, you'll see a score. You'll see who's the winner second, third, and people always remember if they won or not. So that's very good. Um, and it becomes also a, a spectator attraction. 
the loading bay is fully outside and people load the vehicle and then the vehicle starts and leaves with a spin. Like here, what you see here. So obviously, when you're an operator, you want to attract people. If you have a Ferris wheel or a roller coaster, obviously everybody's going to see it and people are going to line up and we want to try the ride. So for a dark ride, what we wanted to avoid is to put the attraction in the dark box and then it's very hard to sell the attraction. Because yeah, you can put signs, but it's not clear to the customer what is in the box. What we've learned at Triantech by developing developing these interactive theaters is we open the curtains, people see the seats, and kids or families are attracted to the seats, and you know, they ask uh, mom or daddy, can I go try the ride? Because it looks cool and the seats look cool. So it's the same thing. You're going to see the lineup, you're going to see the people loading on the vehicle, a bit like what we've done at Nutsbury Farm in California. The vehicle will come out, and then they go into the, uh, you know, the dark, mysterious box, and obviously, you know, it shows you enough that people are attracted to it, but to do the attraction, you need to buy a ticket and go inside. Uh, the footprint is very reasonable. We're looking at between 4,000 and 6,000 square feet, so approximately 400 to 600 square meters. Uh, we're even looking at developing a smaller version. We have a lot, a lot of interest for that. And I call it a smart investment. So basically, it's something that a smaller music park or location base can afford. As you can see here, we're looking at the, uh, one second, sorry. Christian's gonna play the video showing the features of the vehicle. and the motion. This is unique, I've never seen it in, in a location-based vehicle. Everyone has a first front row. So again, everybody, all the guests have a front row. Whether you have two vehicles, three, you know, we have a design in, in uh, Niagara Falls, it's gonna be five vehicles, but you always have a front row. It's very important because you have your blaster in your hand and you want to see the whole screen and you want to be able to target everywhere. So it's very important that there's no obstruction. Imagine if you have two rows in a vehicle, uh, it's harder and you have, a, let's say, a six foot five person in front of you and you're a kid behind, you know, you're going to miss some of the show at minimum and you won't be able to target. So that's very important. The vehicle, the, the vehicle base, the whole concept of the vehicle we've developed with Gossetto from Italy, our good friends Gossetto. And I want to mention uh, Lisa Gossetto is here. So thank you, Lisa. Uh, the whole team at Gossetto uh, worked with us to, uh, to develop this vehicle. They've been very helpful and uh, they're going to have a lot of orders for this vehicle. And we combined the knowledge of Gossetto, who built dozens and dozens of dark rides, at a cost which makes sense for small location and with the motion basis of Triatech. So I think together we created, you know, what I think is going to be the best vehicle uh, for dark rides in the future. And mind you, this vehicle is going to go into smaller hyper ride attraction, but it's also available. We built dark rides for 1,000, 1,200 people per hour. So you can have a dark ride with 20 of these vehicles or even double track. Like, uh, you know, like they, what they have at Disney or Universal. It's a totally, you know, it's the best really four person vehicle right now, in my opinion, in the industry. So uh, the car moves very quickly. The, the G-Force is very strong. We're still testing, you know, how much G, so I don't want to give you a number that you quote me and somebody tests and it's not as fast. What I can tell you is that if you sit on the side, it's much stronger than in the middle. So it might seem sometimes like you can be frustrated because you don't have the best seat, but mind you, it's like a coaster. You know, some guests want to sit in the back because they have you know, the fastest acceleration in the back. I always, I always ask what's the seat which is the most com comfortable because I get motion sickness. So some guests will sit in the middle, some in the outside, and they might redo the right and, and try another seat to have a different experience. So you don't have a lap bar. You know, in the traditional dark ride, you lower the lap bar, but you feel like you're limited in your movement. So we use a seat belt. So you have complete freedom of movement. 
uh, again, the sound injection, which we call sound injection. So when you shoot at a zombie, you're going to only hear what happens for you. You're going to hear your, your blaster shooting. You're going to hear, you know, whatever explosion that you provoke. So it's a very personalized sound, which, which we call sound injection. Um, and again, the players are completely immersed, and at the end of the experience, you get an individual score. It's very important because you have the best players of the day, the best players for you know different titles. Eventually, when you have multiple titles, this is what we've learned at Frantec with our XD uh, Dark Rides. And uh, I think you know, yes, today they want to be the number one. They want to be up there on the leaderboard, and eventually it's going to be published on the internet. So imagine if you're the only Niagara Falls. These are the best players of the month on the photo. Uh, I think that's going to, you know, that's going to be quite exciting for uh, for the guests. So I think that's it for the technology. Uh, please uh, come. Really, I, I want you guys to come at the booth. We have the full motion vehicle. We don't have the screens, but you'll, you'll feel the acceleration, the motion, and you're going to scream. So uh, we don't. You know, it's not open to the public, but everyone here is invited and will sit you on the seat. Hopefully, ask to have one of the seats on the extremities, or if you don't like too much motion, just sit in the middle, or just look at your friend doing the ride. And it's boot number 10, 1069, 1069. Please come and see us, there's a patriotic sign. Thank you very much for coming today, I'm very happy to see you, and uh, hopefully you'll try the hyper ride in Clifton Hill, Niagara, Niagara Falls, Canada, next summer. Thank you.